Okay, I'm going to do a little... Oh, there's some shadows in here. Hmm, it's really dark out. Um, I'm going to do a little... I'm going to shoot a short video, fun video, on, um, on someone in the White House. Someone we all know quite well. And I don't think I've ever seen a uh, anyone talk about him. I'm sure people have, but I haven't. I haven't seen everything online. So uh, this young man, he's 34 years old. Oddly, you'd never think he was 34 years old. He um, he is uh, was born on. Let me think. Uh, uh, let me think. Okay, August 23rd. That's on the cusp. He's a Virgo on the cusp of a, a legal Virgo guy. And his name is the illustrious Mr. Stephen Miller. Give it up for Stephen. I don't know what's going on with that guy, but he is one creepy dude. So in that sense, I'm going to be using a creepy deck. Uh, this is the deck I'll be using for uh, Mr. Miller. Uh, Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot. Perfect. Uh, my clarifiers will be, um, uh, okay, my clarifiers will be my little um, Rider Waite Smith. I think this is called the Pam Tarot um, from Lucky, Lucky something or other. Uh, it's great. I use this deck a lot. So we're going to do a, a quick video. I don't know if these are shuffled very well. Let me see. No, they are not. So what we're going to do is we're going to just pull them out random. So this is about Stephen Miller. Uh, I should pick someone as a significator. Now, who should we pick? The lovers. I don't know what this is. Three of, that must be the three of wands. Oh, boy. I'm not familiar with it. The chariot, no, 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 none of those. The Knight of Wands, no. I'm thinking he's such a weird guy. Now, he is a Virgo. I don't know which card is a Virgo card, but I don't want to do that one. I want to do... Should I do the Fool? No, I don't think I should. Queen of Swords. Oh, wow. I don't know. Yeah, let's do the Queen of Swords. Should I use the Queen of Swords? Why not? It doesn't really matter. We'll use the Queen of Swords because he's kind of creepy. The guy is so creepy, and he's 34 years old. How can someone 34 years old be so creepy? I don't know. He got married recently to a very uh, pretty young lady, and uh, he seems really happy. He's got his face almost changed. I, mean, he was, uh, I saw pictures of him. He had a, a wedding reception somewhere, I think in the White House, and they had an Elvis impersonator. Bizarre. You know, that whole White House is bizarre. Everybody's bizarre. It's like... They're ghoulish. They're ghoulish. There's something not right there. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Something ain't right. And when something ain't right, something ain't right. Okay, so we're going to just uh, kind of do one of these deals. And we're going to pick, let's see, there's, uh, how many do I pick? Three, there's six, right? Three and three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. There's seven of them. Okay. So this is a reading. The question is, um, you know, tell us about Stephen Miller. Uh, you know, what's going on with that guy? What's going on with Stephen Miller? Are you ready for this? Let's check and see. Good or perfect. Recent past, Mr. Miller. Juggling, he's the juggler. Yeah, that's him. That would be him juggling. Juggling some kind of ooey gooey mess. And uh, his current action, Ace of Swords, bringing clarity to a situation. Uh, I don't know if that's possible, but maybe the sword means something else, like something not good. <laughs> um... Hidden influences, temperance, two ladies. OK, 
kinky. A little kinky, a little on the kinky side. I didn't think he was that, well, he is kinky, but I didn't think it was that kinky in that way. Uh, and then we have on top, we have uh, the um, obstacles. Uh, what is this card? This has got to be, there's no number. This has got to be death. Where's my book? Pretty sure it's death. Oh no, it's number five. Wait a minute, is it five? If it's five, it's the Hierophant. It's the Hierophant, I think. Yeah, that's in the obstacle. Mm, obstacle position. Community card. The star. Hubba, hubba, hubba. 17. No, this is the five of wands. Yes, five of wands. This is five of wands. And this is uh, the star. His action that he will take once all once he goes through this process is the Popes. Well, this is the um, the uh, high priestess. And the final outcome. Uh, poor guy. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. Tower. Oh well. Should I read any more? Yes. Let's go in. Let's go in, baby. We're going in. Okay. So we got this, uh, this is you know, Stephen Miller. Tell us about Stephen Miller, what he's up to, what's going on with him. And um, he's a juggler. He's been juggling things. Well, we'll do some clarifiers here. Well, first, some clarifier is this is his current action, and it's the Ace of Swords. Well, let's see what that's all about. So we have the, um, the Queen of Wands. Maybe that's his wife. Maybe she rules the roost. And then we have the emperor. That's obviously Mr. You-Know-Who, although, come on. And then we have, oh, bummer. We have the a nine. That's the, no, that's the, the eight of swords, right? Yes, the eight of swords. Well, he's having a little difficult time right now. He, uh, he's got his, uh, his wife, or this could be Nancy Pelosi, actually, as well. He's got to deal with her. He's got to deal with him, and he's um, he's not having a good time, and uh, so that's bringing on some uh, a whole new cycle of more of this dealing with all these people. That's the way it goes. Uh, hidden influences is temperance. The card itself is kind of strange. It's like maybe he's dealing with two women in the White House. And maybe he's having trouble with the women. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, looking overseas for support. Seeing if the ship is going to come in. Embattlement. This is a rivalry embattlement. It's holding your ground. It's holding steady. It's pushing people off. Uh, he's, he's fighting. He's a fighting. He's in a fighting mode. Oh, and another sword. Oh, my goodness. This is not good for Mr. Miller. Uh, with well, a nightmare card. So we got, we got this card, which is bound up, blindfolded, tied up around swords. Uh, not good. And then we have the uh, the nightmare card, and there's it shows a lot of conflict. So how he gets to be temperate among all this energy is beyond me. So that's something to consider when we go back to look at this. Is, so this is the Five of Wands, which of course is struggle again. It's struggle. It's working. It's struggling with your uh, with your uh, your your crew, your tribe. It's inner fighting. And let's see what we have here. We have the Queen of Pentacles. I think the Queen of Pentacles comes out as Nancy a lot of times. Oh, we have a Celebration card, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is his obstacles. So he's in a lot of infighting, his obstacles, and um, uh, how does this how does this define uh, the infighting? Well, it could be caused. I'm thinking maybe this is Nancy Pelosi. Uh, the Democrats are are coming are coming are looking good. They're being resourceful. They're talking to uh, this the Senate. The the House of Representatives is talking to the Senate. The Democrats are stepping up to the plate, uh, not only in in, uh, in the in the um, House, 
but also uh, in the governorship and also in the Senate. And uh, it's hard to say anyone's celebrating, but um, there so shows some celebration here. Now, Trump is, of course, celebrating in my last reading. So there's some celebration, but I don't know. You know, they're probably celebrating these small little things when they don't realize that it's Armageddon out there. They're celebrating probably, you know, winning these little nonsense, nonsensical things. And then there's the Wheel of Fortune. That could be good or bad. But that's the obstacle. Now, this is how the community feels. It's a star, you know, that's wishes and dreams and a lot of spiritual energy coming at him. Good thing. The Fool, impulsive behavior. Judgment. That's, uh, you know, evaluating your situation to see how you've done. It's also the end of a cycle, getting towards the end of the cycle. And then the Ten of Coins. Um, so the community is interesting. We have the star, but this is the community. Uh, the star, I mean, this is probably not about him. It's just about what's going on in the world or in the United States. Um, there's a lot of, you know, impulsivity uh, in the in the community, but there's also judgment, so that kind of brings it down, kind of tones it down. And that shows a very good card. I mean, the, the, uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a very good card. Some, I've read somewhere where it's a, kind of a, a high spiritual, a higher spiritual level. So this shows um, in the community disregarding him because he's really a small, minor player. He's just a sycophant for the president and um, uh, an evil one at that. Um, and so the world will go on without him and the world will, will um, he's probably the fool, but the world is, is doing well not well, but is taking things are going on without his input. And come out, so we have this thing, and we have the situation. How does he respond? The Pope, as he goes inward, he's withdrawing. The world, loss, and the King of Pentacles. So we have uh, the King and the Queen of Pentacles, I think, here. Do we have a queen? Yeah, we have the queen over here. The queen of pentacles was over here, and then we have the king over here. Uh, I was defining that as Nancy Pelosi. This could be Schumer. There's some loss. Uh, he's going inward. He's withdrawing from the world. He's at a loss, and there's people infringing on him, and I would say that's Schumer, that's Pelosi. So he's, um, he's, not, he's not out there. I don't know what he's, I don't know what we're paying him for. What is he doing? You know, except screwing up the border. You know, it's a travesty what's happening at the border, and God only knows what's, you know, now it's not on the front page news. And all those kids, you know, it's just really disgusting. And uh, so he's he's going inward. Uh, there's forces working against him. There's, there's the worldwide pandemic that's causing problems. Uh, there's loss, probably stock market loss. And then there's the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. This could also be uh, Andrew Cuomo. He's been handling this amazingly. And so what, where does this all lead? It leads to the tower moment. So I don't think he's having a good time. I think he's having a bad time. Uh, so that's Stephen Miller. Uh, he's got some issues. He's, uh, he's in the White House, tucked away. He's got... Um, his current situation is uh, the Ace of Swords is a new beginning, but I'm not sure if it's a good beginning because we see these people hovering over him and he feels kind of trapped. Uh, the hidden influences are the Temperance, which is normally a very good card, but you know we got these two ladies here. I'm not sure what that's all about. And uh, maybe he's got a, he's working with two women, and um, he'd like to get out. He's looking overseas for things. He's fighting with them, and then that's leading to nightmares. And then here we have his obstacles, there's infighting, and we have this um, probably caused by the Nancy Pelosi. Um, I don't know who's celebrating, I don't think he's celebrating, but uh, that's probably in the obstacles. He's seeing that other people are getting a positive press and he's not, and the White House is not getting positive press, and so he's probably not happy about that, and it's causing more problems in the White House, because whenever anyone else gets positive press, Mr. Trump gets very upset, 
and then that affects Mr. Miller. Uh, so Wheel of Fortune, things are changing, up and down, up and down. The community, now here we're talking about the community, the star. See, the community is not the White House. The community is outside the White House. And, the, and the, people are working really hard with this situation. Um, there is the financial aspect, there is the medical aspect, and people are, it's a new cycle for a lot of people, but they're out there. Look at the Red Cross, isn't that interesting? People are really, really working hard to make this, to make this better, a better situation. Now we get the Ten of Coins, which is a wonderful card to get, and that's in the community. It's not in the White House. So he is going through strife, but the, the, the community is pulling together. Here we have him withdrawing, the High Priestess. Uh, he's withdrawing from the world. There's loss, and there's the King of Pentacles. And again, it's, it's I would call this, uh, it could be a moneyed person, but I'm thinking that because that was the Queen of Pentacles up here, this could be um, Schumer, uh, Pelosi on the one side, Schumer on the, um, on the Senate. Someone is is uh, taking charge, and I don't identify this as the president. And what where does this all lead? At least to the tower. He's not having a good. Uh, he's going to have a rough uh, couple of uh, weeks, months, the rest of his life. I don't know. Anyways, that's my reading for Mr. Stephen Miller today. It is uh, March twenty first. Uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. Have a great day.